have 11 minutes and welcome to another travel vlog. Hey! I've been in Manila for three days and yesterday I decided to book a ticket for tomorrow and do a solo traveling again because I've been I don't know, I think I've been traveling with a lot of my friends recently. Don't get me wrong, I love traveling with them, but then I miss traveling solo. I miss the feeling of being independent. I miss the feeling of not asking anyone where I should eat, should sleep, where you want to go. That's the reason why I decided yesterday why not go to Japan. By the way, for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Ava Lovinit and I make travel vlogs. I'm a full-time travel vlogger. Go subscribe and click the bell button to get notified every time I post a new travel vlog. And I hope you guys will enjoy watching. After 10 hours of traveling, I finally made it here in my hotel room in Osaka, Japan. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's been one of the hardest commute of my life. Plus, our plane from Manila to Osaka got delayed for about two hours and that really didn't help because right now it's currently 10 in the evening. As you all know, in every travel vlog, there's always a rooftop. I specifically wanted to stay in Dotambori because there's a lot of you know good restaurants here good a lot of street food that you can find in this area and it's accessible to most places that you wanted to go plus the train station is about five minute walk so if you guys are going to find some This is my room. What you see is what you get. We got a queen size bed. This is fit for two people, but since, you know, I'll be traveling alone, that's all mine. We got some bathrobes, a desk that I most likely won't be using. And yeah, it's really small actually. Um, I even have a flat screen TV here. Since it's still summer here in Japan, there's air conditioning. So make sure that if you book your hotels, they must have some heaters for the winter, of course, and air conditioning for summer crickets. It can get really hot. This is the bathroom. I haven't seen it yet. Um, where's the light? Where's the light? Oh, there it is. Oh, hi. So um, yeah, got a small bathtub. This is a typical Japanese hotel room small efficient and what I love about Japan hotels is that their toilets are you know remote control they have bidet and all of that also complete with all the toiletries that you need so let's go get some food happy that it's super close to my hotel ah, perfect it is the best spot for those of you guys who are wondering how much my hotel room is it's around 5,900 for two nights it is a little pricey but considering that I only have to walk to the spots that I wanted to visit it's not as bad I'm about to eat Ichiran ramen but before that of course I have to fall in line this is the queue. This is my booth for tonight. I already paid 1490 for the basic one. Oh, there's free water. Thank you. So, this is what the basic ramen looks like. It's pretty really huge. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish this one, but since I'm hungry, hopefully I will. Um, it comes with seaweeds. I think this is mushroom, I'm not so sure yet. And the pork, and of course the soft boiled egg. Everything is for 1,490 yen. Also comes with a free water. But if you want to add some like more side dishes or even get a beer, you can always request it. This is how much the add-ons are. So they only accept cash. That is why it's always make sure to bring cash with you. And good morning, everyone. 
everyone hello this is my outfit for today i will be heading to kyoto um it will take about an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes so i better get going i'm almost late and i don't want my friend to wait for me so yeah let's go <laughs> here in Japan is that they have a wide range of street food and upon entering the Fushimi Inari Shrine there's a lot of food stalls that you can see thank you I'm having Wagyu steak for breakfast because why not pretty good I wish I have rice though and this costs 500 yen. Alright, you guys made it here in Fushimi Inari. There's no entrance fee if you guys are wondering. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I'm trying to walk slowly towards the Tori gates, like a bunch of Tori gates. This is where you usually see photos of tourists with a Tori gates and um, there's a lot of people as of the moment because it's currently around 12 in the afternoon. I highly recommend for you guys to visit early as much as possible to avoid tourists if you want to take a nice photo. you guys we are on our way to Hokanji temple but I want to introduce you to Jamie hello, hello. What's up? it's his this is his Instagram and Ben finally we met hey after about a year a and a half time in the yeah so he makes really dope cinematic shots with his <laughs> brother yeah anyway he, they just recently released the Philippines cinematic video if you guys have seen it in my Instagram story I'm gonna put the link again below to watch the full video it's really dope you guys better subscribe to them it's really worth Way it I promise you if you if you're not subscribed to me it's okay but as long as you subscribe to him because oh, sorry. It's the best shout out of it yeah. <laughs> so now we are just walking around this area and we came across this I don't we're not sure actually if this is a house but it says it's free to come in, so yeah, it's really old school. Yeah, so we're gonna take photos and videos here, see how they do it. Yeah, <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. We made it outside of the temple, but unfortunately, we are super late. That's why there's a lot of tourists, so it's quite hard to find. A spot where we can take nice photos as well as it's been raining so that's also a bummer mm. but this is what it looks like you can just easily walk around um, this area to find a nice spot but I think this one is the best one we are now here in Pontocho Alley this is where a lot of um, geishas hang out <laughs> I don't know I see a lot of geishas when I'm here not not just one but sometimes three or five geishas all at once so we're on a mission to find some geishas and shoot some videos yep, while so we're here geishas. <laughs> the thing about geishas is when you see them they're already gone so you have to be really yeah. quick because they just they're, they're like, like they're ninjas like <laughs> yeah, <it's well. laughs> they're not ninjas they're geishas <laughs> okay let's go <laughs>
to. Heading back to Osaka. Time to say goodbye to the boys. See ya. It's been a short but sweet. Have a short, very yeah. sweet. Short and very um, sweet. Collab with collabing and sharing new stories and exactly. <laughs> getting to know each other. Hopefully you get to visit me in the Philippines or I'll visit you in Melbourne. It's not the or last we're time. gonna travel somewhere around yes, the world let's do for that. sure. Let's do so that. comment That's below if you guys do. want us to make another travel vlog. Oh, yes. Yes. Where do you want us to go? Yeah. Where comments. should we go? Yeah, right. true, true. Please do subscribe to their channel. I'm going to put their links below. If, if you want <laughs> to. I mean, you don't have of to. course. <laughs> of course. Uh, they're really great cinematographers, videographers, vloggers, filmmakers, whatever yeah, you want to call them, but it. they're really... <laughs> stop yeah. it. Too kind. It's really worth it for you guys to subscribe to them. I'm so glad that I finally met them after a year and a half. It was so lovely yes. to meet you. Yes, um, amazing catching up with you. Hopefully it's not the last time. It yep. won't be. Definitely. And we'll see you guys in some sort of collab somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Right. Bye. And good morning everyone. Third day here in Osaka. It's currently 7 in the morning and I'm here in Dotenbori Street. As you may or may not know, this street is really famous for street food, good restaurants. It is basically the kitchen of Japan as they said um, there's not much people around because like I said it's still 7 in the morning but I'm trying to find a place where I can eat breakfast sorry for my voice right now I'm feeling a little bit sick because yesterday I went to Kyoto without any umbrellas there are a lot of convenience stores that are open 24 hours here in Japan. You won't miss it because there's like a bunch of like fam Family Mart, 7-Eleven, Lawson. Those convenience stores sell the good stuff. my breakfast so if you guys want to try out Ichiran ramen I recommend for you guys to go here during breakfast time if you're up to eat ramen for breakfast because there are no lines at all Saka is super peaceful in the morning it's already 8 I need to get ready within two or three hours because I am going to take a train from Osaka to Tokyo! Actually, if you guys might not know that Japan is one of the first few vlogs that I've ever made, that is why Japan is something that's really close to my heart. And I am off to Shinkansen Station. I decided to take a taxi instead of taking a subway because of my luggage and I don't want to be late. I don't want to be late when I get there. My train leaves at 11. It's currently 10.08 in the morning. Alright, you guys safely arrived here in Shinosaka Station. I still have about 30 minutes 30 to 40 minutes before my train leaves. My Shin Osaka ticket from Osaka to Tokyo costs 14,650 yen. That's only one way. Now you can also buy once you get here at the station. There are a lot of Shinkansen tickets available once you get here. But as for me, I bought my ticket as soon as I arrived at Osaka Airport.